and the two teams make their appearance and Leeds United will be wearing for the first time the new powder blue third kit I'm going powder blue I don't know is that right you know what bro I'm going to go you with that powder <laughs> blue I like it it's very much pastel as long as we don't have the kit clash of the QPR incidents. Well, no question that that isn't the case because Luton Town are in their, well, I'd say, I suppose you would say traditional tangerine shirts with white and blue. Well, I've seen this kit. It's almost red to me. Uh, it's, it's so deep an orange. But anyway, I think it's technically it's meant to be orange or tangerine and Leeds United in past the blue. So no question of any sort of kit clash this afternoon. The players go through the formalities. A couple of changes in the Leeds United side. Cooper is only uh, is fit, but is only on the bench for this game this afternoon, having gone off in the last game before the international break. So Berardi keeps his place in the starting lineup. Pablo Hernandez proved his fitness by coming off the bench in the last couple of matches. And Hernandez is in from the off. Helder Costa it is who takes a place on the bench for Leeds United this afternoon. Also back involved in the action. Alioski fit again uh, as one of those amongst the potential replacements. Luton Town suffered a heavy defeat in their last game at Reading before the international break but the big news for them is that the man who failed to make any real sort of impression at Leeds United on the season long loan the Chelsea man Izzy Brown who missed that last game is fit and will start for them and he's very much one to watch because he's the guy who's been involved in setting up a number of Luton's goals so far this season five assists in the league six in all so Izzy Brown somebody the Leeds players will know all about and somebody the Leeds players will surely have to watch He's a player of real quality, is Izzy Brown. Unfortunately, sometimes it doesn't work out at clubs. But you have to remember, he did come to us in a ride at us with a real se serious knee injury. So, just couldn't get up to speed of things, the quickness of things, the methods that we, we do now at the training ground. Our boys are so fit. Like, the fitness levels are ridiculous. They're through the roof. And sometimes it is difficult after a long-term injury to um, get up to speed of things, like I said. But um, he's come here to Luton and showed his real quality. So... The, the battle with him and Calvin in that midfield area, I think it's going to be key that today. Who comes out on top, could have a big say who's going to come out on, the, on top of getting the three points. Leeds United will be switching around. It means they'll be kicking towards the away supporters, it would appear, in this first period. Probably not the way they would have wanted it, so I suspect maybe Luton have won the toss there. Uh, but it does mean that Luton will be kicking towards their main body of fans of way behind the goal to our right-hand side in this first half all set for the resumption of championship action after a international break Leeds went into it off the back of a victory for the first time in a long time it was only afterwards I was reading the stats about how long it had been since Leeds last won before an international break and it goes back some way so they've uh, gone into the break in good heart they'll hope to emerge from the break in similarly good heart and extend the current unbeaten run Leeds United uh, will be getting the game underway it would appear and Patrick Bamford the man standing over the ball as we prepare to begin the game just a couple of minutes past the top of the hour Leeds United kicking from our right to our left our press box position is pretty much to the uh, right on halfway just slightly to the left of centre Tyler Roberts gets us underway with the ball out to this near side and Jack Harrison. And Jack Harrison looking to play Robertson down the left-hand side. Fails to do so and the ball comes off the feet of Stuart Dallas just in front of us. And that will be a Luton Town throw in. And the uh, man who's coming back into the side for them, James Bree, will be taking it from a right-back position midway inside the Luton half. In the last game, Luton played 4-1-2-1-2 formation. Uh, as they attack and the ball is given back to Kiko Casilla with Kiko Casilla looping the ball out towards this near side touchline heads go up on this near side and the final touch is off a loop player and it goes out behind for a goal kick to Leeds United um, so it'll be interesting to see whether they stick with that formation um, just uh, making a sort of little guess at it at the moment I suspect maybe they haven't because uh, they did have a Craney sitting in front of the back four Martin Craney's out there at the moment dropping into that sort of holding midfield role or defensive midfield role well at this stage you can see from Lou when they've got no interest in pressing the ball straight from from Kiko to the centre halves there's little respect we get we get shown now 
Sometimes we've seen that it's difficult for teams to get out and can settle into our rhythm. As the ball comes out, long, long uh, diagonal ball played from Ben White at the edge of the centre circle, but it's it's a little too long for Jack Harrison, who gives a thumbs up in response, but the ball eludes him. Too much power on it for him to be able to keep the ball in play, and it's gone out on this near side, right down by the corner flag to our left-hand side for a Luton Town throw-in. Down the line it goes, onto the head. Well, Calvin Phillips beats Izzy Brown to it. And then the ball is played into the uh, centre of the park. Still in the Luton half. In fact, on the edge of the Luton penalty area now where Tyler Roberts was pressurising, but the clearance goes all the way up into Leeds territory. Craney puts a foot on it, gives it to Brown. Brown has options wide, but gives the ball straight to Luke Ayling. Luke Ayling is pushed to the ground, is he? No, nope. gets up, carries on, ball at his feet, does really well. Slips it out to Pablo Hernandez, left-hand side. Down the touchline, it goes on that far side. Bamford chases, but won't get to the ball. And instead, it's not back to the uh, Luton keeper, James Shea. And then it comes right back up into the Leeds half in response. Leeds United trying to get possession back on the halfway line. Bree instead hooks it forward for Luton into Leeds territory. And then Berardi tidies up at the back, gives the ball back to Ben White. And then White goes square across the edge of the penalty area to Luke Ayling and out to the man who signed a new contract in the last couple of days, Pablo Hernandez, extending his stay with Leeds United. Another player committing himself in terms of Leeds' future. And he gets the ball now. Will he celebrate that contract extension with a stellar performance for Leeds? Well, it's not a stellar pass forward from Pablo Hernandez. It has to be said, it goes straight onto the chest and is played forward from... Uh, the back forward for Luton from Cornick and it goes out over this near side touchline level with the edge of the Leeds United penalty area and Berardi wastes no time in throwing the ball back towards the D on the edge of the box and then Ben White collects it and then he gives it short to Calvin Phillips and Calvin Phillips back to Ben White and White out towards the right hand touchline and Luke Ayling leads playing it across the back Tyler Roberts with a little touch off for Pablo Hernandez on the right hand side, midway inside Luton's half now, ball played into click comes back to Tyler Roberts, far side touch line looking to make room for a space, gets the ball into the penalty area, waiting there is Harrison not the tallest but gets a touch to Dallas on the edge of the penalty area, just outside the area now, Hernandez comes to join in play on this near side and now Harrison has it on the left hand side, he can take on at least one of the two defenders in front of him, he does well to get the cross back in towards the penalty spot but Luton have bodies around it and it's cleared up towards Izzy Brown, midway inside Luton's half, and then from him it goes further forward to Panzu on the left-hand side, and then they go back towards the penalty area. In fact, they go all the way back to the goalkeeper and begin again. Pearson in possession. Matty Pearson chips the ball up and over the halfway line and over the head of his teammate, Harry Cornick. And then Ben White it is just outside the D, who plays it square to Luke Ayling. Pablo Hernandez still in the lead half. And it goes back to Calvin Phillips again. And just he's enjoying a lot of possession in these early Yeah, stages. I was just going to say there, Bryn, these are the situations where patience is the key. The um, you might think a little diagonal pass is on, but we're better just there, so unlucky to try and get the ball out wide. But we're trying to split the midfield with the passes. If it's not on, just keep it around the back like we have done so far. It looks almost like a back three with Calvin just sitting in deep. Stuart Dallas pushing into more of like a central midfield kind of role. Also, that can change throughout the game. Over the last two games at Ellen Road, we've had a back five, a back three, a back four. <laughs> Almost now you need to be Carol Vorden when we keep it up with the match. <laughs> Berardi with a header. One of the defensive contingent today, however many of them there are. And back the ball goes off the shins of uh, Martin Craney for a Leeds United throw in. And Leeds are midway inside their own half and the throw in from Luke Ayling is back towards the edge of the penalty area to Ben White you'll hear the Leeds United voices in the background it's a, a ground that is completely surrounded by housing um, and residential areas here it's a, it's a real experience if you haven't been I mean entering the away end is virtually done through people's back rooms it's down uh, Ginnell behind the away supporters end it's uh, very much an old school stadium this one Jack Harrison with the ball back to Ben White redolent at times pass but Luton have big plans for the future they're ready to formulate plans for a move to a new stadium some would say long overdue others would say it would be a real shame to lose a ground like this 
given the fact that I've got Ben Parker's right elbow shoving right in my ribs currently, I'm not entirely sure it would be a good thing. I'm trying to win the medals against you, Brim, <laughs> getting up early. But there's there's the um, there's an example there of Calvin trying to find Jack Harrison in behind with diagonal pass. Gone too much. I just don't think that those areas it's particularly on. Like I said, the intricate passing through the through the lines, through the through the thirds of the midfield area, I think that's where we can hurt Luton. Yeah, when the game kind of breaks up, they narrow up because we're doing those passes, that's when I think the, the diagonal ones can be out wide to us wingers. We just don't rush it. Like I say, we're going to have plenty of time on the ball round, round the back three. Yeah, we definitely touch tight here, that's for certain. The ball is out on the far side and it's a Penzo with a little run forward, but he misplaces the pass. Applause from the home supporters for the effort shown, but the ball goes behind. Leeds United will have the goal kick it back. Lizzie Brown it was with the, the misplaced ball ultimately. And Casilla really quickly gets the ball back into play. It's a short pass delivered to Ben White, and Ben White straight out the penalty area to Berardi, who gets it back from um, Berardi again, and Ben White just lifts the ball forward. Looking for the head of Patrick Bamford, I think he comes off the shoulder actually of Patrick Bamford. But no direction as a result of that. Luton win possession in the centre circle. Shinny is in possession. Shinny is knocked over by Stuart Dallas. And Luton Town have a free kick just inside their own half. Almost on the centre spot. Izzy Brown has come into that centre circle to take it for them. So you can already see signs of him being very much the playmaker as far as Luton Town are concerned. Made just a couple of appearances for Leeds last season. High hopes when he arrived, didn't materialise, but uh, he's been telling people he's enjoying his time here at Luton, and things have worked out well for him so far, hopefully not this afternoon. A long free kick from Brown is not the best, and it's an easy catch for Kiko Casilla, and it's a long throw hurled out, but Brainy's read that one, he read it appeared pretty well, but he made a bit of a hash of it ultimately, and needs to get the ball back with Tyler Roberts on the halfway line, that's a good looking ball over the top for Bamford and the keeper has to run out of his penalty area and volley the ball clear before Bamford could make contact with it it's the first sighting, the first sniff of something for Patrick Bamford in there the link up play with Roberts and Bamford been really impressed the last couple of games just because I think Tyler thinks like a forward you can see the runs of Patrick Bamford he's always pulling on the shoulders of the last defender like he did there just half a yard too much on the pass, otherwise they'd have been spot on. And um, who knows, the, but the keeper did well. Just good starting position, but like I say the, uh, the link-up play with Roberts and Bamford's one to look out for. Ben White in the centre circle, plays the ball out wide to Pablo Hernandez. Everybody in the Luton shirt has dropped back into their own half. Ailing pushes forward for Leeds, in fact every player of Arcacia now in the Luton half. Inter comes towards Bamford, who's uh, just on the penalty spot as he tries to make contact with the ball rather hustled away from him and it's cleared long up towards the halfway line and there is that Brown Phillips battle and it's Calvin Phillips the lead man, who comes out on top it's a little kick in the ankle maybe for his troubles there but um, came away with the ball and now Pablo Hernandez carries it forward for lead switches play it's a tricky one for Harrison he's got a move to try and keep that in play and he's quick but he's not quite quick enough to catch that one before it went out over the near side touchline loop and throw right down by the corner flag So Leeds push players forward, box them in, I think the phrase is, in, uh, in football. Keep the old-fashioned one. Yeah, it's an old-fashioned phrase, I'm an old-fashioned type of guy. <laughs> Don't let them out. And the ball is, uh, Leeds do a, a relatively successful job of boxing in because they win a free kick as uh, Pansu comes in with a challenge, I think it is, that the referee is a handball, even maybe gave the decision yep. for as he kind of swept the ball, moved uh, an arm towards it, and Leeds have a free kick in a really good position here. It's... Uh, Surely Calvin Phillips' territory. Harrison stands over it currently, but now Calvin Phillips comes in. A long chat going on with Calvin Phillips and the referee. Is that about that challenge a moment ago when he, I think maybe he felt he was caught late? Maybe. Um, and still rather feeling the after effects of that, but he has to shrug it off now because he's got to deliver a ball into the penalty area. In swinger for Leeds United. Phillips in towards the. And oh. it goes all the way across off the head ball. of a Luton Town defender across the face of goal and Leeds have players piling in there but they'll be quite close enough and the pace on the header actually took the ball behind for the corner to Leeds United first of the game another great delivery from Calvin Phillips that um, caused real concern at the back for Luton Town the Leeds fans behind the goal scarves above heads being waved around Calvin Phillips 
takes the corner kick for Leeds now in towards the near post there it's another good delivery but it's headed clear as far as Pablo Hernandez just outside the box he chips the ball up for Tyler Roberts well it was um, it was an extravagant attempt by Pablo Hernandez to play Tyler Roberts in but he rather scooped the ball a little too powerfully and it bounced ahead of Roberts and behind for a goal kick just too clever for his own good day wasn't it Pablo he just played to his feet nice simple pass but the um, the formation like I say is we sat up, we sat up with a back four for traditional, but the Stuart Dallas has moved in. Whether they just noticed how Luton set up with the the front three dropping so far deep, we thought right, create another body in midfield just to create that overload, and and that's where the work on the training ground is so important. Like they do hours and hours practice of different shape work. What opposition do? How can we counteract that? They've done it superb so far. Chance for Luton though, maybe now to put a little bit of pressure on the Leeds penalty area for about the first time in the game as the attempted cross from the near side is blocked and then cleared and Leeds have done a good job of defending that Harrison near side still level with the edge of the Leeds box it goes back in to the penalty area and Casilla from Phillips and Casilla plays a ball forward and Dallas has all sorts of time just to nod the ball down into the path of Hernandez great ball and then there's a ball over the top and Harrison keep this one in instead I think he will do that just will he well he back heels it to do that but in doing so, concedes possession. And Tyler Roberts is lucky with a late challenge that he doesn't catch his opponent. I don't think it was any contact. He was behind a pillar. We couldn't quite see. But I think it was the intent that the referee's given the free kick for, maybe rather than the actual... I don't think there was any contact. Well, first and foremost, it's never a free kick. You're allowed to slide to block a pass, block a shot, whatever you're trying to do, without trying to endanger the opponent, what Tyler was doing. But then on the flip side, I'm glad the referee did blow his whistle because Lou was on a counter-attack there, so... We kind of got away with one, but first of all, never a free kick. Of course you're allowed to slide into block a challenge or block a pass. So free kick it is to Luton Town, and it's uh, the goalkeeper, Shea, who's come a little way out of the penalty area to take it. But it's not the best delivery from the keeper, and it's gone straight into touch in the Leeds half, and they take the throw in quickly. And now Kiko Casilla to build from the back. Casilla out towards the right-hand side, and Luke Ailing. Ailing with the armband on for Leeds United slows play down looks for his options one of those is infield it's Ben White White has uh, option wide of Calvin Phillips which he takes now further wide of Phillips is Berardi or he could go centrally again to White that's what he does always options now Ben White with the ball at his feet goes further wide to Luke Ayling so again across the back line from Leeds United Ayling goes back to White once more and White then into the centre circle and Click comes jo to join in and Click sees the run on the far side Hernandez lovely nice. they'll flick through to Luke Ayling on the overlap and Luke Ayling's crosses into Tyler Roberts in the penalty area he's got a lot of work to do in there he chips it up oh he was towards Dallas on the penalty spot shaping for the volley headed clear but comes back out to Harrison near side good pressure from Leeds this Harrison gets the ball whipped into the oh. six yard box and the keeper Shea came down and dropped just ahead of Patrick Bamford on the ball there and it was an important intervention from Luton's goalkeeper because Leeds had bodies in the box. Real good build-up play there. A couple of times Luke Aylin's had the ball at his feet, he's looked up, instead of forcing a pass, just kept it simple, back to Ben White, and that's how we build the attack up. I thought Jack Harrison did ever so well there, just get a cross in, half a yard, but he's the keeper's done well, just to keep hold of the ball, Bamford was sniffing around. As we move up ever further into the game, coming up to the quarter of an hour mark Luton Town nil, Leeds United nil match day live on LUTV brought to you by Deliveroo, Food Freedom Jack Harrison in the Leeds half, gives the ball back to Berardi, Berardi square to Ben White, Ben White maybe will look forward with a longer ball he has Harrison available on the near side, he goes short instead as Dallas comes in and then moves out and then White switches plates to the far touchline and Luke Ayling and Hernandez leads really beginning to turn the screw a little bit here now certainly in terms of possession and Luton are chasing the ball at the moment and that's not a good position to be in against Leeds Click is played in, he's onside can he keep the ball in? Well no, not quite but how has he afforded so much space down the far side touchline there Matthias Click, they left him all alone This is why Luton are playing a dangerous game dropping in, one moment of lapse of concentration get a third man runner from midfield like Click's done there then the hard work of trying to compact us, try and just um, force it into a mistake, it, it goes out of the window then, and that's going to be key. It's not going to be Tyler Roberts making the runs in behind, it's going to be like Stuart Dallas, Mateus Click, even Pablo Hernandez rolling off the touchline there. As the ball comes over the halfway line, beyond Dallas, Brown, but Dallas will step in and take it away from Brown actually. 
Bamford sets off on a forward run doesn't quite um, see the ball come his direction but then Berardi wins a good header now Bamford's involved in battling away with the Luton Town defender Pearson and it's a late challenge from Patrick Bamford that just catches Matty Pearson he stays down on his haunches a little after it now uh, looks a little disgruntled and a little unhappy and still feeling the pain a little but he it is who will take the uh, free kick that results for Luton Town four defeats going into this game for Luton leads five unbeaten Pearson with a long long ball forward up to the edge of the area easy win for Luke Ayling brushes off the man in front of him gets the header on then click flicks it on oh he almost played Bamford in but Bamford was coming towards him there Luton have the ball back in the centre circle uh, possession is held in that centre circle by Andrew Shinney, the Scotsman, and then it's won back by Leeds. Now it's through the middle for Bamford, he's got a lot to do, but he's done, well he's played the ball into Roberts, and Roberts moves into Pelletieri, and goes down under a challenge, and you'll hear what Ben Parker thought of it, but Panzu does well there, and he just rolled Tyler Roberts off the ball, and plays a long one forward to try and set an attack going for Luton Town in response, so swift counter-attack from the home team, and Panzu's got up quickly to join in with it, and suddenly, from nothing, the home fans find their voices. They've been quiet all afternoon, and just that one moment, the defensive play from Mpanzu, and then the ball forward has lifted the spirit. Great defending. Here. Good work from Berardi on his own goal line, just to hold off the attacking presence and then win the free kick so Leeds can take the ball, get the ball forward from a free kick. Yeah, going back to the Tyler Roberts incident there. Initially, I just thought he got in front of his marker, and we know how strong Tyler Roberts is. He's a real powerful player. He just thought he wouldn't get shrugged off there. Um, that's why I give the initial shout to the referee. Probably hindsight. You so were wrong. I, yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking from a defender's point of view. If I was an attacker, maybe I'm giving the shout. But I just thought he's got his body in front of him. He's got that half a yard. He's going to drive into the box. Probably just couldn't get the ball out of his feet well, he, quick enough. He's a strong character, isn't he? Yeah. He's a, he's a physically powerful looking guy. One of those who's come through all the way from non-league with Luton Town who are attacking with Connick right inside the penalty area now. He can't get it beyond Berardi, but Luton Town do have a throw-in. And the home fans, I guess, will be encouraged after seeing Leeds dominate possession for the last few minutes. They've got sight of something now as Brown plays the ball into the penalty area. Berardi gets a clearance away. Hernandez comes in to help out. And then Ampanzu beats Roberts to the edge of the air and he tries a looping shot from somewhere behind the gantry post that slightly obscures our vision to the edge of the penalty box. The upshot we can say with a degree of certainty is that it goes quite a way wide. The only 100% thing we can say about that, Brendan, he didn't go in back of the net because you can't really see too much with the um, the health and safety ladder right in front of us. But um, and Panzu is um, he's growing into the game, isn't he? Like I say, he's a real powerful character. Almost plays in a similar role what Calvin does. But I think we can move him. He's not, I don't think he's comfortable with players in and around him, different runners going in behind, so keep shifting him out of his position. Yeah, he's chasing Stuart Dallas at the moment, but the possession is with Ben White. He goes right-footed, ball forward, up towards Bamford, edge of the air. He's beaten to it in the air, and the clearing header is onto the feet of Craney, but Craney's ball forward is straight to Ben White. When, oh, ben White out to Jack Harrison, near side. Good ball in field for Stuart Dallas on the edge of the area. Dallas wins it back despite a Luton challenge. Hernandez has it now for Leeds. 25 yards out, out to the right-hand side and Ailing. Chance to cross from Ailing maybe. Plays it in field instead to Hernandez. Just outside the penalty box for Leeds. Now Ailing, has he found the gap? Not quite. The ball was played just a little too close to the defender there. And Luke Ailing was, Ailing was in good space, but the defender slid in, made the clearance. Leeds have the throw in, far side. Ball back in play. Click took it, gave it to Hernandez. Click has it again. Over the top for Roberts. Roberts is onside. And the ball then attempted to be played to Ailing. Ailing loses out. But then the ball is given away and Le Leeds have it back again with Click. Low cross bobbles its way into the penalty area and just rolls away from Stuart Dallas. And Leeds put the pressure on again with a throw in from the far side. Good link up play though from with Pablo. Ailing down that right hand side. Nearly so lucky with a little give and go. So Luke Ayling has the chance to stay forward for Leeds. Level with the edge of the Luton Town box. The throw-in is short to Hernandez. Back to Ayling. Ayling in field to Tyler Roberts. Movement from Leeds. Now Hernandez on the touchline. Far side. Over the top. Lovely ball to Click who's onside. Chips it up into the box. Into a great position. And Jack Harrison was arriving but not quite quickly enough. And the ball was hooked behind for a corner kick to Leeds United. And that was as dangerous a moment as... 
Luton Town have suffered there. James Bree was the man who made the final touch. The man at the back post relieved to get the ball behind for another Leeds corner kick. So Phillips has come to this near side to take it. 21 minutes on the clock, 0-0 here at Kenilworth Road. Different signal given by Phillips for this corner. Let's see what the outcome is. It goes longer and it's over the head of Ailing, but only just. And Craney chases it to try and keep the ball in play on the far side. He fails to do that, so it's a Leeds United throw in. Final touch off one of the Luton players in the box. And uh, Roberts from Hernandez. Now Calvin Phillips. Calvin Phillips outstep ball into the penalty area. Bree heads clear, and Luton have got a bit of time to complete the job. Get the ball up to Izzy Brown. That's a good ball up to Izzy Brown. Here's a runner from Connick on the far side. Tries to play Connick in. Gets Connick's ball at his feet in the penalty area. But a really good block made by Berardi. He read that excellently well there, the Leeds defender, uh, because Connick had a sight of goal. And the shot wasn't powerfully struck, but Berardi put a foot in and knocked the ball out for a throw in to Luton, which is taken. And Bree into the penalty area, and there's space in the box. And shouts go up for a challenge by Stuart Dallas from the home fans, but uh, more in hope than expectation, I would suggest. And Leeds come away with the possession. Always look towards players' reactions when the crowd goes up for a penalty. Not one Luton players turn around and ask the referee there. So Leeds carry it forward again. The game just opening up a little now. Seeing a bit more of Luton coming forward. And Leeds enjoying more opportunities around the edge of the penalty area in possession as well. Ailing has it now. On it goes to Hernandez. Hernandez skips past one challenge and then tries to skim across into the penalty area. And it was too close to the goalkeeper who clutches it at chest height and then walks out towards the penalty spot. And it's uh, becoming an entertaining spectacle this game. And Le Leeds very much enjoying the lion's share of possession at this stage as we've seen in so many previous games this season. Now the next stage is to see if they can convert possession into chances created and chances created into goal scored. Centre circle, Pearson for Luton Town. Goes back to Bree, and Bree is under pressure from Bamford to one side and Harrison to the other, so has to go all the way back to Shea on the edge of the penalty area. And he plays it down their left channel. Now a slip and it's let Dallas in and there's a real chance for Leeds here. Harrison going on the near side. It's played out wide to Bamford. Harrison still going and Bamford takes a crack at goal. And in hindsight, maybe the ball should have come out to this left-hand side and the runner, Jack Harrison, who found himself in acres of space. And Bamford's shot was too close to the keeper and he patted it down and then he held on to it. And that is definitely an opportunity that maybe Leeds have spurned. Yeah, I think it's a big opportunity missed. And you're right, Bryn. The initial pass from Dallas went the wrong way because I think the uh, the centre half, I think it might have been Pearson, gambled to go towards Bamford and Harrison were making great ground on the left-hand side. He must surely have got a call but he opted to give it to Bamford where a little reversal passed Harrison and it had been in a goal. And Luke Ayling's found himself an eight hand side now and Leeds have the chance to cross the ball again. To cross the ball again. In it goes from Ayling and it's cleared away from the edge of the six-yard box and it goes up in the air from Sonny Bradley and then it goes out on the far side for a Leeds throw in but you would say that Leeds now are taking control of this game 25 minutes nearly on the clock still nil nil though and they've conceded sloppy possession there of Leeds Connick has it to carry it forward for Luton into Leeds territory he's been forced further and further out wide by Berardi who's done a quite brilliant job of defending that one and brings the ball away and then he's knocked up in the air fairly says the referee and suddenly Connick has space to cross the ball into the near post man arrives on the near post and the final touch comes from Ben White who gets the ball behind and Luton have their first corner kick initially Berardi's done superb not letting um, the runner get Connick getting down the side of him put another challenge Plus the ricochet did fall kindly for us Luton nearly broke but great defending awareness just to follow a runner going across the goal well, his fingers crossed from the corner kick in terms of the description because there's quite a lot of the penalty area we can't actually see. So um, let's see how this one works out. Hopefully we'll just see the ball quickly cleared away from that danger zone as far as Leeds are concerned. It's fizzed in quite low by Izzy Brown and then a shot comes in from just inside the penalty area. I think it took a deflection on its way off a Luton player. It goes behind and it wasn't too far away, but it was wide and it is a Leeds goal kick. And it's taken from Casilla to White. So we are seeing openings at either end now. I guess the uh, first goal may be deemed to be all important in this fixture. The Leeds 
push Luton back down again or can Luton give themselves a real platform in this game as Hernandez tries to set forward a run for Leeds down the far side he manages somehow to get it to Tyler Roberts and now Hernandez has it back again on that far side touchline infield to Roberts again and Roberts intelligently into Phillips but Phillips is tackled successfully and cleanly by Izzy Brown and now Luton mount another counter attack and Izzy Brown continues the forward run Berardi and Ben White work it out between them and between them manage to get hold of the ball get hold of possession and just calm things down when it looked like there might be a little worrying there for a moment Calvin Phillips well tackled in the midfield to start that off by Izzy Brown now Stuart Dallas on the left hand side Dallas inside for the run of Bamford and Bamford oh my word it was just in front of Patrick Bamford for one second there I thought the keeper had hesitated and Bamford was going to nick it away from him but between the two of them somehow Shea managed to just get a, a foot on the ball and then got the ball back in his hands we could see Shea there he kind of panicked got to no man's land great ball from Dallas great again great bit of movement from Bamford in behind the centre half yet again but passed just a little bit too much but the keeper couldn't commit if he'd, if he'd gone and dive in there he might have given a decision well, for the referee penalty, to make yeah, yeah he could see it all day long penalty, when, when he's running out there so to be honest it, it did well the keeper just to stand on his feet a touch fortunate yeah because Bamford didn't get there ev eventually but um, in, in, in the end the keeper just gladly it fell to his big size 11 I think he's gone on there Bryn well at the other end Leeds have um, committed a foul inside their own half it's uh, pretty much midway inside Leeds United's half so Luton have a good opportunity here with a set piece delivery which will be from Izzy Brown to get the ball into the Leeds penalty area plenty to aim at on the edge of the box Leeds have pretty much everybody back defending Izzy Brown takes his time measuring this one up and in it goes he chips it up right footed and Luke Ayling wins the header for Leeds and it comes out to the near side touchline and Harrison just plays it up towards the halfway line nobody in a pastel blue shirt there for Leeds Hernandez now with a volleyed ball up and over the halfway line Bamford will chase gamely what sort of pressure can he put on Craney well Craney actually does well to be fair former Barnsley man spun away from Bamford and just calmed things down for Luton and then the ball is played up the channel to Mpenzu slips pitch causing problems to one or two of the players and it has been raining this morning it's the, it's, there's moisture in the air for sure and it's been wet in this part of the world as in many other parts of uh, the country and the players occasionally find it just a little difficult to keep their feet out there Ailing manages successfully on that occasion to get the ball forward to Tyler Roberts and then Berardi and then Phillips drops in between Berardi and White and now White has possession for Leeds who are content to slow things down again and start to build again as we move up towards the half hour mark in this game Leeds United still being held to a 0-0 scoreline by Luton Town Leeds coming forward with Hernandez good ball out towards the far side and click click lofts the ball up towards Dallas edge of the penalty here thought about the volley plays it in field instead to a cushion pass to Hernandez Hernandez towards Harrison near side of the box low ball in from Harrison and Bamford was lurking and it was just beyond Patrick Bamford and that was again good work from Harrison down this left hand side just varying the crosses and delivering something that um, Patrick Bamford might got just a little bit closer to maybe could have got just in front of the defender defender beat him to it but Leeds have the ball back they set off from the halfway line once more ailing in possession infield to Hernandez Hernandez tackled heavily and unfairly and Leeds United get a free kick after Shinny just went through the back of him basically and it's midway inside Luton's half and it's almost central and Leeds take it short and quickly to Ailing. Ailing curls the ball in Bamford waiting underneath it Pierce in the centre half has done well there to beat the lead striker to the ball and then it goes over the far side touchline Leeds United will have the throw in and the ball remains in Luton's half waiting for the ball to be returned it's over on that side where they have the executive boxes here at Luton at Kenilworth Road it's like a sort of squashed east stand <laughs> as if you've taken one little bit of the east stand out and just dropped on that far side it's been that way for many many years familiar sight and the TV gantry is above the heads of those sitting in the, the row of executive boxes and Leeds United uh, the coaching staff are sitting over that side as well ball into the box Bamford's in space oh he's hit the post and Patrick Bamford in 
Acres all alone in the penalty area, met the ball, and it comes off the post, and Leeds come again, and the header is clear, and Leeds were a fraction away from the opening goal, as Phillips comes, saves, Harrison follows up, and oh. it's saved again by Shea, fantastic double save from the home keeper, and Leeds United have come so, so close to the opening goal of the game there, and the referee, I think, ultimately has awarded a free kick to Luton Town, so presumably something in the midst of that a player was offside, but it wasn't Bamford. He hit the post. I'm not sure if he's given a free kick at all. I think he might have just told the, the keeper just to speed up, but how have we not scored there, Bryn? I think initially, a great ball from Berardi, and Bamford and Tyler Roberts, both on side. The flag didn't go up. Tyler runs perf like to perfection. They've kind of left the ball to each other, and like last minute, Bamford just put his left foot out. More, more instinctively, more than anything, smashed against the woodwork built back play and then you just think Harrison's just going to tap it into the back post but the keepers will never so well just to smother him Leeds come again Tyler Roberts now Click plays it wide to Bamford and back to Click on the edge of the area and he drives a shot forward he couldn't actually quite get the power he wanted in that and it went just wide and he's in a hurry to give the ball back to the Luton keeper so he can get the game underway again with a goal kick that leads that suggests Leeds sent something here maybe and why wouldn't they because the best moments of the game have been the last few moments of the game. Still the scoreboard reads, Hatters nil, visitors nil. 33 and a half minutes gone in the first half. Match day live on LUTV, brought to you by Deliveroo Food Freedom. Goal kick, long, long up into the Leeds half. Header is one on to Izzy Brown, and then chance maybe for a ball to be played up to the Conic on the edge of the penalty area, but Leeds break the attack down, and Ailing carries it forward for Leeds. Harrison belting forward on the near side. Tyler Roberts has the ball on the edge of the centre circle. Harrison still in, in an advanced position for Leeds. Dallas carries the ball, though, instead now. Dallas on this near side, outside the box to Click. Click has Harrison on the left-hand side. Chance for him to line up the cross into the penalty area, out to the edge of the penalty area. Luke Ailing underneath it, and he tries to drive goalwards, and it pretty much hits exactly the same spot on the advertising hoarding behind the goal that Matthias Click hit a few seconds ago. Just turning the screw yet again. Can feel it coming. The tempo of the passing just increased, not only slightly, but significantly. The, uh, we mentioned build-up round the back, early part of the game. Now they're passing the ball into midfield really quick, creating an overlap out wide. Lewin have to work really hard at the moment just to try and stay with our runners. Goal kick over the halfway line. Luke Ayling is beaten to it, on the far side by Dan Potts. And then underneath it is Andrew Shinney, and then they concede possession to Leeds. Hernandez gives it away and then the ball is cleared into touch far side for a Luton Town throwing right in front of the away dugout uh, Marcelo Bielsa is on the end of the row of coaches on the traditional blue bucket and the ball is thrown down the touchline far side and then it comes onto the feet briefly of Hernandez he loses possession Izzy Brown has it for Luton Town skipping away from Phillips but not for too long Phillips and Ailing do a job between them, but Leeds don't hold the ball for too long. Luton have it back again with Panzo on the halfway line. Then it goes all the way back from Pearson to Bamford. Bamford motions players forward to get up and behind him as he puts pressure on the goalkeeper, Shea. And then it goes out to the far side. The pressure works because Leeds have it back. And there's a ball over the top for Click to try and chase now. Centre-half's favourite in there, Bradley. And Bradley gets the touch before any Leeds player, but he does so at the cost of a throw into Leeds on the edge of the penalty area. You can see from Bamford there the anxiety that Leeds have to get players forward as quickly as possible now as we head towards half-time. Ten minutes of the first half remaining. It's skipped past. Leeds putting pressure on, on the far side and uh, the ball stays in play and it almost breaks for Izzy Brown as a result of that clearance, but the ball is then cleared up into the Luton half. Leeds win it back through Click and then Roberts and then Roberts loses out and it's a messy game but Leeds have it back again and it's Roberts into Bamford in the penalty area back to goal needs support Patrick Bamford it comes and it from oh. Click and Click curls a shot goalwards and it hits the back of a Luton defender and it goes behind for a corner kick sometimes you can have all the best build up play going so easy on the eye slick passing sometimes you just need that little bit of luck where you have a shot, the deflection there, just might wrong foot the keeper, end up in back of the net, instead of going out for a corner. But the goal's come, you can feel it, Bryn. Well, the rain comes down, Leeds put pressure on, playing towards the away supporters. Phillips with a short corner kick, almost breaks on the edge of the penalty area for Ben White momentarily, after Bamford 
was tackled in the box and then it's cleared all the way out towards the far side on the halfway line. Leeds throw in, taken really quickly. Leeds have really got the pace of the game now. Ailing swings the ball into the penalty area. It's away from Harrison though. It's an easy defend for Bree. And then into the midfield area and Shinny. And then back towards the edge of the box and Bradley, but Lutner under pressure. So Pearson might think about the long ball. Instead, he's excellent, Tyler. To keep the ball under control and get it to Bree. But then Tyler Roberts slides across in front of Bree and makes sure he can't play the ball further forward. And Luton have to go backwards to take a throw in off the deflection from Tyler Bree's sliding intervention. Perfect pitch for those who like a slide tackle. And Tyler Roberts uh, exploited that one there. Phillips picks up on the misplaced throw in. Now it's near side with Harrison. Harrison down in front of us, right down in front of us. You can almost reach out and touch him. Berardi back towards the halfway line and Ben White. And then Ben White back into further into his own half, deeper into his own half to Luke Ayling. And Ayling looks up and sees Hernandez maybe going down the right-hand side or Dallas coming short. They go wide to Roberts. Roberts holds the ball up just outside the box. Hernandez now wide of Tyler Roberts. Not the best delivered ball from the Welsh international. And he acknowledges that uh, he could have done better with that for Pablo Hernandez. Leeds do have a throw in though. Roberts gives it back to Ayling. All the pressure on Luton Town at the moment. Click infield to Hernandez, back to Ailing again. Ailing with a cross into the box, Bamford underneath it with a oh. header. Well, he gets it goalwards. He couldn't get the power in the header though. And the goalkeeper James Shea is happy just to put his hands above his head and clutch onto that attempt on target from Patrick Bamford. Did him so well just to get across his marker. Fortunately, he had a straight at the keeper. But I like that mixing up, crossing from a little bit deeper, just to try and unsettle the back four. Izzy Brown for Luton in an advanced position, not far outside the Leeds penalty area, right outside of it now indeed. Still holding the ball up, Phillips has tried to step in and then a second challenge comes in from Hernandez which is successful and Leeds have the ball um, further towards the halfway line. Battle goes on over there, there's a swinging challenge on that far side touchline on Pablo Hernandez, um, knocks him to the ground. Tyler Roberts rather and Roberts is back up again Leeds resume play with a throw in and then they switch from right to left and Calvin Phillips just outside the centre circle for Leeds and he switches play again out towards the right hand touchline Pablo Hernandez takes it down on the upper chest and then the deflection is off uh, Shinny of Luton and Leeds have another throw in level with the edge of the Luton Town penalty area Leeds trying to create again looking to build from this throw in position chance to get the ball into the attacking players click gets a very short throw in and the pass back to Ailing is actually too short but Ailing has won it back by the corner flag for Leeds and he hooks the ball up invitingly into the penalty area Harrison's come all the way over on this near side almost by the corner flag to get the ball back for Leeds United so from one side of the penalty area to the other Berardi now infield to Calvin Phillips Leeds building again from just outside the centre circle. Pablo Hernandez has possession. Infield to Stuart Dallas. Dallas on to Tyler Roberts. Back it goes to Hernandez again. It's come very quiet around Kenilworth Road now. Hernandez through a crowd of Luton players. Can't force his way through that. But Leeds get the deflected ball back through Click. And Click now pursued by Izzy Brown. Gives the ball to Hernandez. Hernandez switches play out towards the far side touchline and Ailing. Back in field to Hernandez and back to Ailing again. But I think the defender will just get there ahead of Luke Ailing. In fact, it's not even that good for Leeds. Ailing gets the final touch on the ball, but he couldn't control it because it was spooned up in the air and it goes behind for a Luton goal kick. 40 minutes up on the clock, five remaining. Won't be, I'd be surprised if there's any time to be added on in this first half. It's rattled by at a fair old pace and uh, there's barely been a stoppage and we've yet to have the first goal of the game. Shea will take the goal kick for Luton. Former Bournemouth man, over the halfway line it goes. And the foot, the final contact is made by Ben White. Takes the ball over the far side touchline for a Luton Town throw in in front of their own dugout. Graham Jones standing right in one corner of it. And then a foot in from uh, Ailing on the far side helps Leeds win the ball back again. Quickly over the halfway line, but Bamford had set off on a run, but the ball was short of Patrick Bamford. So Bradley plays it up towards the Leeds penalty area and then Berardi's back there to defend and then Casilla out towards Harrison near side. Breeze come out to 
try and get into Harrison and it, as a consequence he's out of position and now Harrison could possibly exploit that Breers sprinted to get back into the right place now Harrison has possession for Leeds infield to Roberts and there's players wide and he gives it to Hernandez in a lot of space just outside the penalty area Pablo Hernandez ball at his feet now Tyler Roberts edge of the area with a left foot drive oh, and the keeper save. makes a great fingertip save as a deflection took the ball away from him momentarily but he reacted really well and pushes it behind for a goal a corner kick and that's as close as Leeds have come because the goalkeeper for a second there looked like he wasn't going to be able to stretch sufficiently but he made what turned out to be an excellent stop so corner kick to Leeds in front of the travelling supporters Calvin Phillips to take it movement in the box Phillips comes near post and Brady almost makes contact in there but the final touch is off a Luton player so Leeds will have another corner kick and Leeds have the chance to keep those pale blue shirts in the Luton Town penalty area. One, two, three, four, five in the box, two on the edge. In it goes now. It's an easy punch for the goalkeeper as it turns out. And Luton possibly have the chance to break now as a result of the punch clear. It's carried forward by Shinny over the halfway line. Izzy Brown collects down the far side touchline. Infield to Craney. Craney makes further progress forward and it's offside decision. Good work by the Leeds back line there. They stepped up in a disciplined manner and in doing so caught the furthest man forward offside and looked quickly across the ref's assistant who acknowledged they'd done their job successfully flag went up leads free kick not only did they get the line sorted well but the amount of bodies we got back as well almost like relay sprinters getting back into position there but going back to the keeper Shea what a save by the way we mentioned a bit of luck a deflection maybe and that's what he got from Tyler Roberts Almost like his goal against against um, against QPR, where he just tried to side foot it into the bottom corner. This time a little deflection, keeping a strong hand down to his right hand side. So Leeds knocking on the door here at Kenilworth Road. Are they going to run out of time in the first half? We've got two minutes of normal time remaining and very little to be added to that, I would surmise. Ben White carries it for Leeds now, deep into the Luton territory. Needs support, goes wide to the right hand side to Pablo Hernandez. He drifts across and it's very deep Harrison's met it though and really well as well on the byline and he managed to volley it back into the penalty area but there was nobody there in a blue shirt for Leeds and Robert uh, Phillips rather tumbles to the ground as he tries to control as the ball is cleared away can't keep it in play I think he suggests maybe there was a challenge an unfair challenge from Cornick ref's not having any of it and Luton Town had the throw in and they're in absolutely no hurry to take it at this stage Luton They've had to work hard to keep up with Leeds in this first half. They've managed it so far as the scoreboard still goalless here at Kenilworth Road. Floodlights on. Skies darkening. Rain coming down. Classic November football feel. Ball over this near side touchline. Luton have the chance to maybe make one last attacking effort in this first period with a throw in. Away to our right hand side. It's taken down the line by Bree, the full-back. Now, Brown has worked a bit of space on the edge of the area. And having worked the space well, he tried a shot on goal, which was not very good. And it sailed high, high and wide. And into the midst of the Luton fans behind Kiko Casillas' goal. Short rollout from him. Is there one last opportunity for Leeds in the remaining 45 seconds or so? We'd anticipate the first period. They come again down the far side with Pablo Hernandez. Hernandez... Uh, helps the ball on to Luke Ayling. Luke Ayling on the right hand side. Ayling further forward to click, click, lifts the ball into the penalty area. Dallas with a header in there. And it's cleared away from Stuart Dallas and volleyed further up, up towards the halfway line. And suddenly it's Connick charging forward for Luton Town up towards the edge of the Leeds penalty area. Berardi pursues him. And then the challenge comes in from Ben White. Luton have a corner kick. And we have 10 seconds to go in the first half. We wait to see whether the board will go up. If it goes up and says no added time, then there won't be sufficient time to take the corner. So I presume there must be a figure on the board. We await to see now as we hit the 45-minute mark, and it's one added minute. So this will literally be the last chance of the first period. One added minute right at the end of the first half, and Luton will finish it with a corner kick. So pressure on the Leeds penalty area. They have to defend this successfully. Hernandez has gone almost short, as it were, to stand in front of the corner kicker as the ball comes into the penalty area now. It goes deep to the far side. Good defensive header from Luke Ayling. Really good defensive header. Helps on to Tyler Roberts. Roberts down the far side touchline, up and over the halfway line, and it goes all the way back to the goalkeeper. Jack Harrison has made a lung-busting run forward for Leeds, but the keeper got there way ahead of him. 
and the ball is back with Ben White on the edge of the Leeds penalty area and that will be just about the last action I suspect of the first period as Leeds bring the ball back up to the halfway line and cross the halfway line and we wait for the referee to put the whistle to his lips he hasn't done that yet Leeds play the ball into the penalty area Dallas shakes off a shrugs off a defensive challenge and the referee didn't give any sort of free kick there but the goalkeeper read it quite well and as the ball came off the defender goalkeeper collected and that is indeed the last action of the first half so Leeds have largely dominated they've created far the better chances but as the two teams go off they're yet to score the first goal of the game all square Ben we've done everything but score Bryn I think we started off a little bit I won't say sluggish but we didn't get into his tempo that we know we could have done but then something had a little spark just a quick little bit intricate play in midfield and that kind of set us off then and if it came in at 2-0 I don't think anybody could complain but the score still have been 0-0 we've seen a couple of times on the counter attack it could be a bit dangerous Luton when they're sitting in so we've got to be wary of that but as a manager's message at half time just been more of the same boys but put the ball in the back of the net it's the one element maybe missing from the first half Leeds have been pretty impressive so far certainly dominated possession they've hit the woodwork they've seen the goalkeeper make two or three excellent stops and that's the reason that as the players disappear down the tunnel and we compete with the PA system here at Kenilworth Road the scoreline reads Luton Town nil, Leeds United nil. And it's the home side Luton Town who will get us underway. Brown, the former Leeds man, stands over the ball in the centre circle. Awaiting the signal from the referee. Checks that both sides have got the full quota. They have. And we're up and running in this second period. Leeds chasing a success, a first success in four away games in the league. And Luton Town chasing, well, any sort of outcome that isn't a defeat for the first time in four and a half now matches heading towards five they play the ball into touch on the far side Leeds United have the throw in still the rain comes down here at Kenilworth Road illuminated by the low floodlights on the far side of the ground it's not a ground you can spot from any sort of distance away this one so uh, so low are those floodlight stanchions so you have to really be upon it before you notice it hemmed in amidst the houses and streets of downtown Luton Hernandez for Leeds in the centre circle. Goes out wide to the far side and Berardi marching on together. You may just pick up the strains of that in the background from the Leeds travelling support. Ben White in possession on the halfway line. Short pass to Luke Ayling. Movement in front of Ayling. But he gives it another short ball to Dallas. And then Dallas infield to Roberts back to Dallas. He has to stretch to control. And he's pushed to the ground. Is he? Now the ref says he isn't. And then he does get a foul. The hands in the back, the ball stuck down between his legs, almost like a. Is that, uh, they call that rocking in rugby union, you'd know this. Something like that. Whatever he did, he done well to win a free kick. It's always one of those, I think referees usually blow for a drop ball, but um, he's bought one in a. You say a dangerous area. It's it is actually a really good position, isn't it? I mean, it's maybe too far out for a shot. It but, probably is yeah, too far out for a shot. Probably, maybe a bit too central, but we've seen Calvin put some loads of whip bit of dip on the ball his delivery has been fantastic so we'll see what Leeds decide and opt to do with this one the free kick is yeah it is definitely you would say it's midway inside the Luton half but it's pretty central Calvin Phillips is clear favourite to take this one for Leeds they have players to the right well just one player to the right of Phillips on the edge of the area Hernandez so you'd anticipate the ball's going to the left hand side of the box as Calvin Phillips looks at it that's the direction in which he stares now in they go runners on the far side it's over hit though and it goes beyond the last man Jack Harrison and you'll hear the reaction of the home fans that tells you that it bounces straight out and behind for a goal kick just got to say it's a bit, probably a bit too much it's always difficult when they are central and you're trying to get runners coming across from out, outside to in so Shea has the goal kick for Luton made some good saves in the first half the Luton keeper in fact He's the reason the scoreline still reads nil-nil on the scoreboard above the low stand away to our left-hand side. 48 minutes gone in this championship fixture. Ben White in possession for Leeds. Match day live on LUTV brought to you by Deliveroo Food Freedom. Ben White goes to Berardi Square. Midway inside Leeds territory up to the halfway line. It goes and Harrison back to Berardi again. Berardi then infield to Ben White 
and then White out to this near side and Luke Ayling. Everybody back by those three and the keeper in the Luton half. Ayling into the centre circle and White who crosses the halfway line at, uh, finally and then plays it wide and then it's a not the best pass from White and Harrison had no chance of getting that but he has to race back which he does really well, sprints back to turn the ball all the way back to Kiko Casilla in the uh, Leeds penalty area. Casilla forward to Calvin Phillips and then out to Ben White and then click on this near side and further wide to Luke Ayling down in, right down in front of us now in the commentary position just to the left of the halfway line ball on the edge of the centre circle Stuart Dallas turns away from the mark marking player that's Shinny and the Scotsman fouls him and that's a free kick two leads on the edge of that centre circle and Dallas for the second time in the second half is bundled to the ground and Leeds get the game going quickly Harrison step over far side can he make room for the cross still going towards the corner flag gets the deflection low in towards the penalty area off the foot of a Luton defender and then it's cleared away as far as Berardi Leeds try to set off and on attack again infield to Harrison then Phillips and then Phillips infield to the edge of the centre circle and click and click infield to nice. Hernandez lovely layoff from Hernandez little flick through the legs there and Hernandez gets it back off Ailing and he chips the ball up towards the far post Harrison arrives there and he tries to turn the ball back in towards the six yard area but Luton had a man across to bundle it into touch on that far side but some good play left side right side from Leeds and they come again with click on the edge of the area into the area and there's a chance for a low drive from Tyler Roberts and the keeper drops to the ground gratefully at the foot of his near post and holds onto the ball. Initially a great link-up play down this right-hand side with, with Pablo at Ailing yet again. I'm sure that must have been in the thinking of, of BL supporting Pablo back in. We played a lot of games together, these two. The um, understanding's great. But the um, game was started off where we left the, um, the first half, being on top, moving the ball ever so well. Again, keep it, just be patient. Don't try and force things. Ben White wins the ball back for Leeds defensively to Calvin Phillips. And Phillips out goes, out it goes to the left-hand side and uh, Gaetano Berardi. Berardi oh, almost down the channel for Tyler Roberts who peeled off the marking player, but Bradley it was who got to the ball first. And then the ball is played down the far side touchline for Luke to try and build something. Shinny in possession for them. Brings the ball in field to Brown. Brown turns away from the mark and Phillips falls to the ground. The home fans day for a free kick, nothing given and Leeds charge forward, what a break this is from Ben White, lovely ball, inside to Patrick Bamford in the penalty area, low drive from Bamford yes! oh what a goal that is from Patrick Bamford, brilliant break from Ben White, he played in Bamford in. and he absolutely rifled the ball into the far corner of the net, terrific breakaway goal from Leeds Luton nil, Leeds United 1, it's no more than we deserved as well Bryn Luton players are arguing with the referee, wanting a free kick. I think Calvin's just never so well, used his strength, shoved Dizzy Brown off, through to the floor. And who was it driving forward? Ben White, just galloping up the pitch, eating it up so effortlessly. Played a delightful little ball behind the defenders. And Bamford took the shot early. Might kept the, kept the keeper up by surprise. Right into the bottom corner, near post. 1-0, great finish, no more than we deserved. 52 minutes up on the clock. 1-0, Leeds United 1, home to 1. Home fans really unhappy with the referee for not giving a free kick for the challenge by Phillips on Brown. I think the ref felt that Brown went down too easily, as the phrase is, in football at least. And he, he did look at it. He had a really good line of vision on it. He was close to it indeed. Go on. Leeds took full advantage. They come again as Roberts has a run from Click. Click inside the penalty area. Oh, oh, he just breaks away from Matthias Click. And Leeds suddenly were three on one in the attack there, and they couldn't make advantage of that as Ailing was penalised and maybe booked for a late challenge on the near side. It just kind of matches the atmosphere of the home supporters, I guess, and they shout for a free kick. And Lee Ailing is disappointed with Potts' reaction, but the referee, almost maybe in reaction to the home supporters, gives the yellow card. Moments prior, Brent, that could have been game set and match. Bamford yet again winning the ball back, his work rate second to none. Wins it back, and just a final ball, just sloppy. Really should, should have at least been an effort on goal. A bit, just a bit of handbags there with Luke Ayling and, and Potts, nothing in it. The referees call both players towards him, we've told you Ayling's been shown a yellow card, Potts is in danger of getting the same as the discussion continues. The two players continue the conversation 
after the challenge for quite some time. I suspect Luke Galing felt that Potts had overreacted in terms of the challenge there. And the game will restart with a Luton free kick. And the home fans have been roused by that, having been quietened by the opening goal. Ball up towards the edge of the penalty area. Leeds want to quiet them down again. They had an excellent opportunity to do that there with that break led by Bamford. Now Brown attacks for Luton at the other end. Plays the ball out wide to the edge of the penalty area. Gets the ball back again on the edge of the box. Looking for space for a cross. Lots of Leeds plays in there. It's a great ball into the equaliser. The ball onto the head of James Collins who peeled off the defender. And it was an easy header from close range for Collins. And now the home fans do find their voices and Leeds have quickly conceded. Luton won, Leeds won. So disappointing, Brim. We've actually been nowhere near it. Some idiots behind us screaming down there. But um, literally nothing, been, hardly been in the game one little bit. And like I say, Izzy Brown just got the ball out of the right-hand side, just put a cross in. We just couldn't get an head onto it. Collins won't score an easy goal all season inside the six-yard box. 1-1 one, one. and all the hard work we've done to get ourselves in front and be dominant as well with that 1-0 lead just throwing it away and the hard work starts again so leads back where they were at half time all square Leeds United have to start again with a kick off and Patrick Bamford lays it back into the path of Tyler Roberts and now Ailing has possession and Ailing brings the ball infield to Calvin Phillips. Leeds will be disappointed that they didn't cut the cross out from the far side. They had a couple of opportunities maybe to stop the cross from Brown who provides another assist as White comes out towards the near side and then Hernandez lets the ball slip through his legs and the home fans have further cause to salute the side of their efforts and berate the side efforts of Leeds. And it's a throw in to Luton on this near side. Just felt that the first goal could have been crucial for Leeds but only crucial if they could have held on to the lead for longer. Foul given for the push in the back of Collins by Ailing, already on the yellow card, remember. So, probably doesn't want to commit too many more of those. And the game is all of a sudden just a little bit tetchy. And that isn't what Leeds want at no. all, because that's got the fans, the home fans on their feet, even in response, if in anger. And it was quiet, and now it's noisy this ground. They take the time over the free kick and Bradley, the central defender, was going to take the free kick for them from the halfway line and then he leaves it, runs off and he is who will join the attack now and it's Shinny instead who will take the um, free kick for Luton. A couple of yards inside Leeds territory, long, 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 into the penalty area. Heads up on that far side, Bradley was underneath it, cleared away to the edge of the box, Brown wins a header back and then a low drive and Garcia has save. to make a save at the foot of his near post and bundle the ball behind the goal as the shot was whipped in from Cornick and that was a moment of danger for Leeds they were just playing into their hands at the moment by little niggly free kicks given away upsetting the referee upsetting the crowd as well they're getting on top of us and um, good save down to his right by Kiko so Leeds have more defending to do from this corner kick it's Brown who will take the corner for Luton from the far side players lining up almost literally lining up on the edge of the penalty area a, a real queue over there as the ball comes in towards the near post and it breaks and Casilla saves and it's bundled in and the offside flag goes up on the far side so Luton celebrate but the goal will not count and Leeds are relieved Leeds are very relieved Lifeline That was a nervy, nervy moment when the ball came off the body of Kiko Casilla First touch, Luton player back of the net but that Luton player made the first touch by just being offside, such a, always such a tight call when it's actually in the six-yard box with a body of players in there as well. At Leeds, have what you might describe as a let-off. Ben White in the centre circle. They've got to get control of this game again now, Leeds United. They've given the home side all the incentive in the world. They've done it again there by conceding easy possession. Berardi it was the culprit. And Luton across the halfway line through Shinny. Pursued by Tyler Roberts all the way towards the corner flag. Still going and still has the ball and leads then battle away to win possession back and it's become a real scrap this game now. Ball back heeled up the line and then cleared up by Roberts towards Bamford who's isolated but then brought down as he runs back towards his own goal. That was a, a poor free kick conceded by 
Luton there because there was no need. And Leeds get the ball back and Leeds will now make a change. And Liam Cooper is coming into the action. And the man who's going off is Gaetano Berardi. So Berardi switches with Cooper. And I would never say that that's Leeds settling for anything. It's just a, I don't know, a switch, like for like switch. It might just be, um, just get the experience of your captain on, just to calm everything down yet again. He's been excellent this year with uh, his partnership with, with Ben White as Liam Cooper. And like I say, with the atmosphere, how it is now, um, just the game getting a bit niggly. What he will do, just bring, like I say, his experience of being the captain, being the leader, hopefully just set everything back down again. Luke Ayling getting booed every time he touches the ball now. Gives the ball to Ben White. Run is made far side by Harrison if he can pick him out. He drops instead almost onto the head of Bamford and then the ball is nodded safely back into the hands of the goalkeeper Shea by Bree. And the Luton goalkeeper with his first touch in a few minutes. As the action's been at the other end, waves his teammates forward up towards the halfway line. Luton Town 1, Leeds United 1. The hour mark ticks up. You'll tell every time the decision goes the way of the home side now because the supporters raise their voice in celebration. So Leeds finally are playing the crowd again at this compact, tight, small ground. Noted for the home form that the home side have enjoyed over the last few seasons as they climbed up from non-league back into the second tier of English football. And we didn't really experience it in the first half, but we are feeling that noise that's uh, lifted them on so many previous occasions here a little now in this second period as Luton put pressure on Leeds penalty area with a free kick again Brown motions players into the penalty area it's out towards the uh, left of centre in right footed from Brown headed away towards a corner flag and the second clearance is important for Leeds and Leeds trying to get bodies around but the kick can save in the second ball and then a drive in from the edge of the penalty area by the central defender Bradley not a million miles over the crossbar never want to trouble Casilla but again, it's that the worry and the concern is the fact that he got the ball in that position in the first place, maybe. Just the panic that we're going through at the moment. Up until they scored a goal, any clearances like that was just effortless. Game, put your foot through it, do the right things, good connection. By the time the ball's dropping out in and around his, his penalty area, people just thrashing the foot at it. It's just, like I say, just been a bit reckless where I just need to calm down, just settle back into his rhythm. Just be good keeping the ball around the back now. Just give it Ben White out to Liam Cooper now. Well done. So Leeds trying to just calm things down a little, basically. Cooper out towards the far side. Gets the ball back from Stuart Dallas into the centre circle and click. And then White again in possession in that centre circle. On it goes to Matthias Click. Click to Hernandez. And Hernandez out to Ailing on the near side. And Ailing back into his own half. Suddenly there's an extra spring in the step of the Luton players as they try to close Leeds down. They had to work really hard throughout the afternoon to stay in the game. They are very much in the game, back in the game, you'd say, having been behind, but only briefly. Now White through the middle for Hernandez. Hernandez out towards his near side. Ailing's got loads of time now. On the right-hand side, chance for him to tee up the cross. Doesn't get past the first defender. And Leeds have to maybe get back and defend again. Hernandez against some Penzo, who plays a good ball in front of Shinny to break over the halfway line. Out wide it goes to Cornick. Cornick looking to take on Liam Cooper. Goes past him indeed and plays the ball up to the penalty spot. Phillips is there well done, for Leeds. really well to nod the ball out to Pablo Hernandez, who's in a good position to get Leeds back on the front foot again. And it goes out to the left-hand side and Harrison. The game swings from end to end now. Harrison charges down the left-hand side. He needs help maybe. Still going Jack Harrison into the penalty area and still goes past the challenge. Stumbles, doesn't go down. And Luton just get a foot in to clear the ball away. Does it go into touch? No, it doesn't. And Leeds have to defend again as the ball in a breathless game comes up to the halfway line with Brown in possession for Luton who drifts away from Ailing and then plays a great ball out towards the near side of the penalty area and the man coming in to meet it was the man who got the equaliser Collins it was just away from him he had to stretch but he manages to get the ball to Potts anyway Luton again men forward now ball up towards the edge of the penalty area Shinny has the ball for them chance to shoot and he gets it wrong he stubs his toe I think almost as he hit the ball there and it's an easy pick up for Kiko Casilla but the fact that this game is now being played as much in Leeds half as in Luton's half is an indication of the way the balance has shifted. Click comes forward for Leeds. Can they exploit the fact the game is more open now? Bamford 
on this near side. Brings the ball in to Tyler Roberts. Gets it back from Tyler Roberts. Luton have dropped back into the defensive formation now. The block on the near side. Click has the ball at his feet. Infield to Bamford. Turns away from the marker Collins and then gives it back to Calvin Phillips. Out towards his right hand side. He's getting closer to the Luton penalty area with Ailing. Back it goes to Click and then Click back to Ailing again. Trying to find the space for the cross. Trying to find the gap to thread the pass into. Hernandez has it just outside the D. He chips the ball up. Bamford from oh. the side. And he meets the ball left foot on the volley. But he can't keep it down. And it goes high over the crossbar. Great delivery from Pablo. Just spotted the run of Patrick just peeling off the centre half shoulder. Delightful, just a little, just a little clip it was. I think it's probably too much power going into it and then blazed over. So another change for Leeds. Jack Harrison goes to take his place on the bench and Helder Costa comes into the action for the away team. Playing on that left side again, pretty much like for like swap it would appear. So Leeds have made two of the three potential changes in this second half. The one big change they want to make now is to the scoreboard, which reads Luton 1, Leeds 1. 64, nearly 65 minutes gone in the second half here at Kenilworth Road. Header forward for Leeds is only onto the head of Bradley at the back for Luton and then it's up in the Leeds half with Click and now Ailing and then Ailing in field to Calvin Phillips and Calvin Phillips deep in his own half short pass to Liam Cooper and Liam Cooper looking for support can't go forward goes back Calvin Phillips switches the ball there's two players out the near side for Leeds Ailing and Hernandez Hernandez it is who gets the ball and now Ailing gets it from him out further wide down by the corner flag Clay plays the ball into the penalty area cleared up towards the edge of the box Dallas is underneath it wins the first header can't win the second header and Luton clear their line to get the ball up into the Leeds half and White's come across really quickly and really well and can't quite keep the ball in play and that would be a Luton Town throw in and Collins takes it quickly Infield it goes to Brown. Brown has Phillips on his back as ever. And he's skipped away from Phillips and he's given it to Cornick. Outside the box gets the ball back off Cornick and suddenly it's played into, well there was almost a gap there but Costa saw it, closed it. And then he plays the ball down the far touch line. Gets a touch off the marking figure of Shinny and Leeds as a result get the throw in. Dark skies over Kenilworth Road now. Still raining here. The pitch is extremely slick. The ball is moving around quickly. The game is moving end-to-end -end quickly. As the next goal could prove crucial. Ailing for Leeds in possession. Leeds in their own half. Calvin Phillips. Phillips square to Liam Cooper. Cooper over the halfway line for Leeds in a central position. Switches the play. Right out towards this near side touchline. Click ticks down really well on the chest. Plays it up towards the edge of the penalty area. Hernandez, ball at his feet. Trying to get past two challenges. Gets past the first, not the second. And then pressure forces the ball back towards the corner flag, the corner flag for Luton. And then the clearance is sliced into touch near side for Leeds United throw in. And Calvin Phillips takes it quickly. Back it goes to Ben White. Leeds beginning just to take a grip on this game again, and certainly in terms of the possession. Dallas on the ball for Leeds now. Missed good chances in the first half, Leeds. Good saves. Hit the post. Scored through Bamford, almost immediately equalised though, disappointingly. And then the ball forward from Click is misplaced, overhit, and goes over the head of the defender and behind for a goal kick. Unlike Click, that technician, really good technique, always spraying the ball out. But there's still plenty of time. Look at the clock there, 67 minutes gone. Plenty of football to be played, so don't have to go into panic mode now, thinking we're desperate to get a goal. Still keep doing the build-up play, be patient with it, but. What's done as well so far when we've looked good is played at a tempo, move the ball really quickly. Let's get back to doing that. O'Shea plays the goal kick straight into touch near side, leads throw in. They begin again, the patient task of building from the back. Liam Cooper has already touched the ball multiple times since coming on. Now click and click to White in the centre circle, the man who set up the first goal with his surging run forward. Now Leeds come with a far side possession for Helder Costa. Plays it in field to Dallas. He has to skip to retrieve it. Now he gets it out to the far side of the penalty area and ailing in a bit of space. Chips it up into the penalty box. Then it's hooked away to safety for Luton. And then Ben White nods the ball back out to the far side. Luton dropping deeper in this game now. 
almost a line, rather than two blocks, it's almost a line across the defence. As Leeds have possession again on the halfway line, switched out towards Costa on the left-hand side. Costa back in field. And White out to the near side, Leeds switch it left to right, comes out to Ailing on the near side, touchline, back in field to Calvin Phillips. Phillips with the ball on his right foot, short pass in field to Ben White. Ben White further forward to Dallas, who's found good space, found a little pocket to move into, and now gets it out wide to Helder Costa, who whips the ball in, and it's a slice central defensive clearance from Matty Pearson over his own crossbar there, one of those that could literally have gone anywhere. Um, bad enough to concede the corner, but could have been worse, you suspect. I like that from Elder Costa, just get the ball out of his feet, put it into a dangerous area. Also, the conditions aren't great, rain been pouring down for quite a while now. You just want a good delivery from this corner, go and attack it. So Leeds have the chance to put the big guys up front. Cooper, of course, on the pitch now to provide extra height in there for them as the ball comes in, but it's an easy header clear, that one, from Collins. So Hernandez has to try again. Knocks the ball a little too far ahead of himself, but in sliding in, puts pressure on the defender, Bradley. Uh, Craney rather and Leeds as a result get a throw in click in field to Tyler Roberts Tyler Roberts been fairly quiet in the last few minutes going to get him, him on the ball now click has the chance to cross perhaps and then gives it to Hernandez Hernandez into the penalty area for Leeds still going Hernandez drives a shot in great save keeper and then what it's cleared away the game. he absolutely drove that in at the near post and the keeper reacted so quickly and so well and that is a real chance for Leeds Pablo Hernandez worked it brilliantly. Can they come again? They have the ball again. Ailing midway inside the Luton half. Dallas. Dallas out to this near side. And Tyler Roberts. Tyler Roberts turns goalwards. Tries to chip the ball beyond the first defender. Didn't manage to do that, but it comes off the defender's chest now. Leeds will make a third change here. So Marcelo Bielsa showing signs that he's uh, rather going for this. And Tyler Roberts does come off. So maybe that uh, little dip in contribution means that uh, the coach has decided changes need to be made in that position and Jack Clark will come on to replace him which is um, it's a rare run out this for Jack Clark isn't it? Yeah, it's his first appearance in the league played a couple of times in the in the League Cup but um, this is the opportunity he's been dying out for um, yeah, it's just um, 20 minutes plus stoppage to go so keep giving him the ball, let him run at the fullback. that's what he wants to be doing Well he's gone left side and Costa's come right side so it's necessitated a little switch and Ailing has the ball on the near side comes in from the touchline into the penalty area back heel almost into the path of Ailing from Dallas but it's cleared away Leeds win it back again through Cooper drives forward, now Liam Cooper to the second challenge not a foul challenge, strong challenge certainly fair challenge though and Luton as a result break forward they throw bodies all of a sudden at Leeds, but they've given the ball away easily. 10,068 here, 1,035 have made the trip to support Leeds United. 1,035, hoping Helder Costa can do something with this ball down the right-hand side now. Again, closer to the byline, gets the ball in towards the near post, but Leeds lack bodies in the penalty area. And again, it was an easy, too easy clearance for Luton. Collins flicks the ball over the head of Ailing and uh, wins it on the other side of the Leeds player. And then a nearest touch from Matthias Click results in Collins dropping to his knees and Luton getting the free kick. Yeah, the space is down, down the sides of, of Luton at the moment, getting the ball wide. But on the flip side of that, let's not commit too many bodies forward. But the ball broke to Collins just then, he had a bit of time, no one really around him. So it's like kind of catch 22. Yeah, go out and try and get the winner, of course we'll do that. But don't leave space in behind and throw, throw away the game. So the ball comes up over the near side touchline, uh, towards the near side touchline, and Casilla gets the ball back in his six yard box and gives it out to Cooper under pressure, far side of the area. He's need to get this away, and they should hopefully manage to do that as a result of the little deflection. And uh, it's a Leeds throw in. And it will be almost level with the edge of the Leeds box, away to our left hand side ball played infield for Hernandez, Leeds still in their own half, now they're moving up towards the halfway line with Dallas in possession, rolls the ball out towards the right hand side and Click, Click carries the ball further forward for Leeds and then it's knocked out to this near side touchline and held a Costa up towards the edge of the penalty area, a little bit of space for Costa and Ailing to link up, Costa goes down under a challenge, Hernandez picks the ball up for Leeds, plays the ball almost into space in the penalty area and then again Luton bodies around the ball, goalkeeper gets his foot underneath it and Shea gets it up into the centre circle and then a defensive header from Phillips ends up at the feet of Brown 
and then Brown goes back to Pearson and Pearson switches play out towards this near side and Collins, Collins gets the ball back and still keeps the ball and then loses the ball and then gets a free kick and that looked like a clean challenge I would have said from Calvin Phillips but the referee would disagree and uh, Luton have a free kick in a good position it's pretty much midpoint of the Leeds half but it is pretty central and inevitably Izzy Brown the Chelsea loanee stands over it and a big conference goes on around the ball there five Luton players discussing what they're going to do with this Tony Cliff standing over it Potts is in there as well ultimately they'll all leave it to Brown I'm pretty sure that's what's beginning to materialise now so with 74 minutes of this game gone Luton won Leeds won both goals in the second half in the space of just a couple of minutes Brown well if they worked on that one in training they didn't work hard enough he tried to play it down the end of the wall but there was literally nobody in the Luton shirt within 15 or 20 yards of it it went straight into touch <laughs> it's one of those where it works well on a Thursday but then <laughs> looks horrific on a Saturday quite sure what he's thinking of there you can't claim he was confused by the kicks being similar on this occasion Luton make a change so Izzy Brown actually is going off which is a bit of a surprise I would have said because he looked like the man who was going to create stuff for them and Loa Loa comes on to replace him and there's a second change in the midst of all that as well so I'm just trying to work out what it was now so Brown goes off handshakes from his colleagues and Luton ring the changes to again try and ring a change in terms of the scoreline here I don't think Izzy Brown's best pleased about being substituted from the look it's a far long way away but I think he's making the point maybe that we've been quite instrumental in Luton getting themselves back into this game Leeds have the possession after that um, brief delay ball over on the far side touchline he's knocked back in field to Liam Cooper Cooper to the edge of the centre circle and Ben White Luton retreat again as White carries the ball forward for Leeds and out towards the edge of the box on this near side and Costa and now Ailing. Ailing holds it up gives it back to Costa again on the edge of the penalty area now Matthias Click still Ailing waits but Costa gets it spins on it in the penalty area can't get past the defender will he get the ball back no he won't quite and Luton has the chance maybe to clear and they do clear and Loire Loire gets his first run with the ball at his feet down this near side touch line great challenge from Phillips knocks the ball off his foot and into touch and Phillips claims the throw in and the referee disagrees and that will be Luton's ball and Leeds have as a result to do some defending down this near side touch line Potts will take the throw in Costa stands short he gets it over the head of Costa Lua Lua has possession holds the ball away from Ailing comes out towards Potts and then a foot in from Costa again, Helder Costa working as a defender at the moment. Can I have your attention, please? And the throw in again Beach will be to Luton Town. And the will be closed and at the end of the game. This time, a little further down dispersal. the Thank near you. side touch line. So, pretty much level with the edge of the Leeds box. Thrown a little closer to the corner flag ultimately. And the man in possession down there is Andrew Shinney. Close attention is Stuart Dallas, and Dallas hooks the ball up down the touchline where Bamford's come really deep to get the ball for Leeds and gives it back to Dallas Dallas is tackled successfully on the slide though and now just outside the penalty area Shinny has it for Luton who turns and drives and Casilla saw it all the way and dropped and held on to it and throws out Good quickly throw. now then the space for Leeds to work in Dallas works the ball out towards the left hand touchline Clark pretty much his first run down that left hand side for Leeds United ball at his feet carries the ball and gives it infield to Pablo Hernandez Hernandez chance to drive maybe no gives it into space to Costa onto his left foot he curls the shot and it's beaten away again Leeds can't get past the defender standing in front of the man in possession at the moment Dallas comes again for Leeds Clark to Dallas and a little back heel to Click good play from Leeds Click holds the ball up now infield to Calvin Phillips everybody pushing up for Leeds United they're all up around that penalty area Phillips onto the edge of the box now and Costa Costa again wants it on the right foot gets the ball into the penalty spot chance oh. almost to turn and shoot there but possession is lost control is lost and it's Luton on the counter attack it's the home team just soaking up the possession brilliant challenge though by Calvin Phillips to get Leeds on the front foot again they charge forward with Hernandez on the ball plays it wide to Clark he's over hit it though how disappointing how frustrating 
it rolls away, it skips away off the wet surface and goes out for a loop and throw in. You have to say, Calvin Phillips has been absolutely excellent yet again. The work he does just to give us that platform to go play the attractive stuff is so invaluable. But there, Pablo, don't be sloppy with a pass. Time all important for Leeds now. 78 minutes plus gone in this game. Again, you'd say very little to be added on because it's, um, apart from substitutions, it's carried on at a fair old rate. Leeds attacking with Luke Ayling in possession. Back to Ben White, of all people, right up front for Leeds United now. Now held a Costa. Luton really setting a stall out at the moment just to defend and defend really deep. Costa in the penalty area. There's no space for Leeds in there. It's working on that basis. But now Costa's maybe found some. Chips the ball up, looking for Bamford, maybe far post. Dallas gets the header down into Clark. Clark's got three defenders between him and the goal. Goes to the edge of the area and Ben White. Ben White thinks about the spectacular, thinks again, and then it's conceded by Luke Ayling and Leeds have got a lot of men forward so they've got to win possession Don they Cooper. Do from Cooper Cooper's done really well out towards the edge of the area and held Acosta Luton back on the defensive as Acosta goes to the byline great ball in slid towards the edge of the six yard box and it's cleared away and again the pressure pouring on to that Luton penalty in fact two of their players have collided there and both may be in need of some treatment here as um, Leeds just pushing Luton deeper and deeper and deeper defensively in this game in the closing stages. Both players back on their feet for Luton. They'll have to defend when they do get back on their feet. I think the play will restart. It's difficult to say from where we are, but it's right down by the corner flag and it's a Leeds United throw in. And there's a movement in front of the man with the ball in his hands, Luke Ayling. And then he comes back to Ben White again in a really advanced position for Leeds. Go square again, Liam Cooper as well. Far forward, push right up for Leeds United. Square to Ben White. They're playing midway inside the Luton half now, the two central defenders. Ball into great space for Click from Luke Ayling, who'd made a really good run. And he's clicked up. Click has pushed the ball into the penalty area. And then Leeds have to try and win it back on the edge of the boxes. Once more, it's cleared away. He's desperate defending from Luton, but it's ultimately, at the moment, it's successful defending from Luton, they're just getting enough, they're just getting the blocks in and then they try and break, Cooper now defending for Leeds in a more conventional role back in his own half, but it's quickly won back by the away team, who are roared on by those travelling supporters, 1,035 behind Kiko Casillas' goal, great ball over the top from Ayling, Bamford's always oh, onside, but Shea had read it all the way, got off his goal line right up to the edge of the penalty area and grabbed the ball on the second bounce. Yeah, I don't think that's the pass Ayling, it's too hard, it's too difficult, especially when out of the pitch, it's so skiddy and slippery at the moment, so it's going to go straight, straight through to the goalkeeper, just keep doing those sharp passes. So the clearance from the keeper, Shea over the halfway line. Leeds have it back through Stuart Dallas. Dallas looks forward, a, a run potentially, then a rethink and goes back to Calvin Phillips short instead. Now Clark gets brought into the play far side. It's given back to Stuart Dallas. Dallas moving forward for Leeds United to Pablo Hernandez, who keeps helping out the man in possession. Pablo Hernandez then square to Ben White again, moving forward for Leeds. Ben White out towards his near side and Luke Ayling. White gets it back from Ayling up towards the edge of the penalty area and click. Leeds patiently trying to find that space. And now it's Hernandez on the edge of the box and he drives a shot goalwards. And again, Shea has to get down smartly to his right hand side and clutches the ball and drags it into his body to ensure that nobody can follow up and cause Luton a problem. Again, great build-up play, but you have to say, Shea, I believe man of the match, where he's performed, the saves he's made. That one straight hit him, but the handling was good. Bamford were trying to sniff around for, for a rebound. But that's the build-up play, what we need to try to keep doing. Yeah, there's less than 10 minutes to go, but that's when we're at his best. Keep building up like that. Eight minutes remaining of normal time here at Kenilworth Road. Luton Town 1, Leeds United 1. Match day live on LUTV brought to you by Deliveroo Food Freedom. Leeds pushing forward again. Dallas plays the ball down the far side track towards Jack Clark's run. Defender Bree has got in ahead of Clark. He clears up towards the midpoint in the Luton half. And a good recovery by Mpenzu to set the play going for the home team again. A game run forward by Craney and then gives it out to Lualoa on this near side. Luke Ayling between him and the penalty area. He curls the ball in onto the head of Ben White and White's header goes onto the chest of Ayling and Ayling can hopefully set Leeds going once more. Pablo Hernandez out towards this right hand side. Helder Costa still in Leeds territory. Infield to Hernandez again. Tight in there. Leeds have got to break out of the mini Luton stranglehold and they do that. They give the ball out to Liam Cooper who's to the left of the man in possession. And now Cooper it is who carries it over the halfway line. Flicks the ball out wide. Good control from Dallas. Wasn't the best pass from Cooper. 
He dealt with it and he gets the ball back, Cooper. And now Cooper, he switched the play, go deep, deep, deep. That's a real tricky one for Costa to deal with. And he might win a corner kick. In yeah, fact, he it's does. done very it's well. a great outcome for Leeds, ultimately. But it was hit long and hard. Costa got one touch on it. The defender felt he had to step in pots and head the ball behind for the corner kick. Although you would say that maybe Leeds have not been having earned so many corner kicks in so many games so far this season. Really, the yield, the return from the corners is not high, is it? So when normally there's a great roar of anticipation from this type of set piece, maybe Leeds are a bit more muted at the moment. Can they do something from this? Calvin Phillips to deliver now. Plenty to aim at in there. Heads go up, but not a Leeds head to meet the ball. Click has been held. Click almost gets the ball on the edge of the penalty area but he can't get there ahead of the loop man, and now there's a potential for a breakaway before Dallas does brilliantly Excellent, well. Excellent, Stuart what Dallas. That is, slid in to win the ball, and not only win the ball, but control the ball and deliver a pass almost in the same movement. Pablo Hernandez, mid-position in the Luton half, switches it to the left-hand side towards the corner flag. Well, Clark's got there, and he's got the ball at his feet. Defenders it right in front of him, so he goes back to Stuart Dallas. Stuart Dallas, now he plays a shot. Well, that's disappointing from Stuart Dallas because... He has so many teammates around him and all that shot has done is fly high over the crossbar and give the ball back to Luton and see a few more seconds tick down. Yeah, he, kn he knows, Stuart. He should have just clipped up. Ailey made a great run from the right-back position to, to the far post. I think that pass w was on as well. But um, now this is the time where you just want someone to come up. Individual brilliance, bit of magic. We've got the players out there. You look, Costa, Bamford, Hernandez, Jack Clark, Click. Could go for out all the team. The individual quality they possess. This is where championship teams are made of now. If you want to get promotion, drag something out at the near depth, get the three points, move on. Well, the Luton goal kick was disappointing for the home supporters because it flew straight to touchdown below us on the near side. It gives the ball back to Leeds and the home fans sense that they need to give their side a bit of support all of a sudden now, having been quiet for much of the second half. Oh, the few minutes around the goal because Leeds come again, ailing on the near side to Costa. And then Costa in field to Ben White. Remember, Luton came into this off the back of four defeats. Costa, is he in space? No. Well, he is in space, but unfortunately the ball was rolled invitingly in front of him, but just overhit slightly from Ben White. So whilst the movement was good, the thinking was good, the delivery wasn't quite right. And it's a goal kick to Luton. And we have 85, nearly 86 minutes gone now in this second half. Leeds looking for a winning goal. Just to break the little run they've had without a victory on the travels after that 100% start to the season away from home. Leeds away again, remember, on Tuesday night at Reading. Hernandez carries the ball for Leeds. It's a game they'll have looked at and thought, well, given Luton's form, this is one we should maybe be winning. At the moment, they're being held. Ben White, and they're running out of time as well. Click on this right-hand side, doing everything they can to try and create the opening, but nothing is working for them. Luton defending doggedly here. Hernandez, everybody pretty much back. Certainly everyone back behind the ball for Luton as Hernandez tries the first pass. It comes out to Calvin Phillips now to Helder Costa on this near side. Luton retreat into the penalty area, basically. Good ball for Click. Can he play an intelligent pass? And keeper gets a touch on at the near post, and it was a good touch. It was an important touch. He didn't know much about it, I don't think. But in touching the ball, it's gone out for a Leeds corner kick far side. Needed to make it as well. I'm not sure if Click meant it. I think he was just probably trying to drill it across the six-yard box. But just got outside his foot a little bit. And again, Shea's the right place, right time, unfortunately. So Leeds have another opportunity from the set piece, this time from the far side. And it comes towards the near post. And again, it's an easy header clear for Collins. Leeds have got to do more with these corners. And now they've got to defend, maybe. Well, no, they don't, because... Click has won the ball, possession back for them really well. Now Costa, edge of the penalty area for Leeds, plays the ball to the edge of the box, drive in goalwards from Click, and again straight into the body of the goalkeeper, foot either side. He'd had at very least a save to make, a proper save to make, but ultimately it was right down his throat. At this stage of the game, it's a great chance as well. I think you're just trying to be too precise with it in the end. Didn't really connect well with it, did Click straight at the goalkeeper. So 88 minutes nearly gone now. Ben White with one header for Leeds that spoons up to James Collins. Luton look a really tired side now. They've had to work so hard to try and keep up with Leeds. They've done it successfully, fair play to them. 
although Leeds will reflect on a, a really poor goal to give away in terms of the defending, simple as that. Calvin Phillips out towards this near side. Long ball for Ailing, who does well to head the ball, cushion the header down to Matthias Click over the top for Ailing to continue a forward run. Slip, slides, gets the ball back. Oh, he's brought down. That's a Leeds free kick in a really good position. It's on down by the byline, so it's between the corner flag and the edge of the penalty area. A real chance for Leeds to sit one up into the box here. Get something up towards the far post, maybe. Calvin Phillips steps just a little wearily forward, maybe, to take it. It's right on the byline. So it's slightly better than a corner, might be the description. And Leeds players piling up to get involved in the penalty area. And in response, Luton have every outfield player bar one back in the penalty box. Phillips it is, plays the ball in near post again. Oh, Paul Calvin. From Calvin, better player than that. He's made it too easy for the man, the only man in the, uh, the position at the near post. And that is a diving header clear for Luton, which they're delighted about. They were put under no pressure there. Hernandez has the ball back for Leeds. Hernandez chips it forward for Costa. Costa holds it up, gives it to Ailing. Ailing over the top for Click, who's found a bit of space. Can he cross? Yes, he can. Near post. Yeah! And Leeds United have snatched a goal through Patrick Bamford at the far post. Terrific build-up play, and Bamford bundles the ball home. And in the final minute of normal time, it's Luton Town 1, Leeds United 2. What a move, what a finish as well from Patrick. They're the type of goal strikers absolutely love Bryn. Getting across face of the goal. Jermaine Beckford's in our studio, he made a living off that. They're not, they're not the prettiest, but my God, they're so important at them, Bryn. What a time to get it, ticking towards that 90th minute. What a feeling. Now let's hold on and see this game out. Bamford is back. Patrick Bamford back amongst the goals. These celebrations are maybe a little over long for the referee's liking, but you can understand it because it's been tense, it's been tight, and Leeds have just got themselves back in front inside the final few seconds. The board goes up far side, indicating we've got four added minutes here at Kenilworth Road. Four minutes for Leeds United. Long four minutes, Bryn, <laughs> long four. You said it's a Let's long four. dig in. Well, Leeds have made all the changes. There's no more they can do on that front. Luton are going to make their final change. So the man departing the action for them is Andrew Shinney. The man coming on is the guy who's on loan from Manchester City, Luke Bolton, like Jack Harrison. So Bolton has four minutes and less now to make a big impression. Leeds hope that nobody makes any sort of impression. Don't from foul. Well done. Great challenge from Click. Keeps the ball in play as well. Leeds have the chance actually to break as Costa will he go towards the corner flag. He is heading towards the corner Excellent. flag now. Still going held to Costa. Now he needs to just hold the ball up in a time honoured fashion. Well done. the ball back into Hernandez. Leeds hope keep possession. Edge of the penalty area. Into the penalty spot. Click has the ball. Turns goalwards. Oh. And the keeper again allowed just to drop to his left hand side this time and make the save. Well it would have been the match winner. No doubt about that. And then the keeper does exactly what Leeds want him to do, and he actually drop kicks the ball straight into touch again on this near side. Is it makes with you, Brim? Because that's <laughs> that's the third pass he's played me. Yeah, right? yeah. In the second half, uh, but almost, the, the, almost pinpoint. Don't don't mind it one little bit. I think there, Elder Cost done superbly. Keep the ball in the corner. I'm not bothered about a third goal at this stage. Win the game. Yeah. Costa and Bamford. The hero of the hour Love for Leeds. Patrick. Good work from Bamford. He's given Costa something to chase. Costa's been held off it, but he might yet get to the ball against the central defender. Stay in the does. corner. He's done brilliantly well there, Helder Costa. Really strong in the challenge against central defender Bradley. Still has the possession, which is exactly what Leeds want now. Don't give the ball away. Click on the near side. Holds the ball up near the near side touchline. Helder Costa gives it back to Click again. Ailing waits in case he's required. Hernandez has the ball. Well he's playing keep ball. They go back to the centre circle and Liam Cooper. Well done. Cooper switches the play now to Jack Clark, left-hand side. Clark carries the ball forward for Leeds, then holds the ball up and then goes again and then stops. Still needs to keep possession, so go back. Excellent, That's Jack exactly Clark. what Jack Clark does now. And we take a check on the clock, which tells us that we are two and a half minutes into four added minutes here. Leeds doing a great job of just killing the game at the moment. Keep possession, managed to keep the ball in play far side and inevitably it will come all the way back to Kiko Kassia. All the noise now is from behind Kiko Kassia's goal. The travelling army of fans. Leeds have conceded poor possession there but the ball goes up in the air. 
And Ayling keeps it in play. Oh, it's a brilliant ball from Luke Ayling. And there's actually a chance for Bamford to attack now as Click arrives in the middle. Matthias Click edge of the penalty area. First touch from the defender takes it away from Click. He has the second opportunity. Now just keep possession. Juggles the ball. And then it comes out to Calvin Phillips. Again, Leeds have the chance to hold the ball. No point in shooting. Helder Costa in the penalty area. Maybe he'll think differently. Comes to the edge of the box. Rolls towards the edge of the six-yard area. And bodies around the ball for Luton. Somehow get it away. No and way. It's a not a foul. Kick conceded by Calvin Phillips. And Luton have to race to take it because we're inside the final minute of added time now. You can hear the home fans roaring their players forward. But the Leeds fans behind the goal anticipating a potential full-time celebration jumping up and down hands clapping above heads scarves being waved Leeds hoping to get back to winning ways on their travels after four games and to extend the unbeaten run so close to that now as the ball comes forward the wind whips up Cooper beaten to the header the ball may go behind there's a free kick to Luton oh my word it's a free kick to Luton 15 yards outside the penalty area for the foul by Liam Cooper it's a knock on the back of the head of the man who was up against him, Dan Potts, and Leeds will have one final moment of defending to do here because we are now up to the end of the added four minutes. So we're into added time on added time, marching on together, rings out from away to our left-hand side. The away fans so close now, but there's still work to be done in this game. Some treatment being administered to Potts. And when that is completed, the game will resume with this Luton Town free kick. And it's an opportunity for the home side to get the ball into the Leeds penalty area, no doubt about that. And it's an opportunity they will most certainly be looking to take. This will be the last action, surely, of the game. We're now 35 seconds into overtime of added time. Lua Lua spots the ball up and Bree now is over it. Lua Lua goes into the penalty area. Potts has to come to the near side touchline because he's had treatment. He can't take part in the game until the referee signals his return to play. And that won't come until after the free kick is taken. So Luton, a man down effectively as a result of that. Leeds have a two-man wall just outside the penalty area. Gives you an indication of how far away the ball is. Bree strikes it goalwards now. Heads go up in there. It's Bamford with the final touch. And it goes behind for a corner kick. And now Luton have a man back on the pitch. And we're now over a minute, a minute plus ten seconds into the extra time of this game so way beyond the four allotted minutes as signalled by the referee Luton's keeper is thinking of coming up the fans waving forward as the corner kick comes in heads go up far side and the header he was in all sorts of space but it's down at the ground it's up over the bar and that's the full time whistle well goodness me they made us wait for that one but Leeds United ultimately claim what they absolutely deserve for a dominant away performance finally 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 Patrick Bamford pops up at the back post and Leeds United have the victory the performance merited Leeds United extend the unbeaten run Leeds United keep pressure on at the top Leeds United give those travelling fans something to celebrate and the scoreline reads Hatters 1 Visitors 2 Oh. This isn't good for my health, Bryn. I'm not going to lie. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Need this at my tender age. I'm ticking into. But um, no, we mentioned just over 10 minutes to go in the game, where teams that win leagues, teams that win promotions, digging deep, find a way to get a winner, and that's what we've done there. The build-up play were great. We mentioned a couple of times where we've gone a bit longer. We don't need to do that. We're losing the ball, and now we've got his goals. It's just great little build-up play. Great passing. And you have to say, Patrick Bamford, the penalty um, against against Blackburn last time out, you can see what he's done to his confidence. He looks a real handful, but he's getting across defenders, getting across centre-halves, making it horrible to play against. Two goals to his name. Excellent performance by him. But Bielsa said in, in the week, it's, a, it's figuring out this, this league, this championship season, it's all about just getting the results. But today we've got a performance and the result. And one key stat to finish the afternoon with. This is Leeds United's victory, 1,919 in this Leeds United's centenary season. How about that? Final scoreline here at Kenilworth Road. It's finished. Luton Town 1, Leeds United 2.